everybody, it's the Two Travelers in Mexico from the... Couch. Two Travelers in Mexico Couch. And today we're <laughs> going to talk to you about things that we see in the United States but don't really see here in Mexico. And number one is fire trucks. Now there are fire stations um, all over the place. We just don't see fire trucks out. And really, we never see any structure fires of any kind because... I've never even seen fire stations. Where? Bomb, they're called bomberos. Um, you never see structure fires anywhere. And it's mostly, I think, because the buildings are made out of uh, concrete, brick, and, uh, you know, the larger buildings are concrete, brick, and steel. Well, I think that if there are fires, it's usually from gas tanks. Yeah. Yeah. Right? From the propane tanks? Mm -hmm. That's what'll, you know, cause fires. Yeah. And... Um, or a field fire. Yeah. And uh, the next thing to do with fire trucks is you don't really see any fire hydrants on the street mm -hmm. either. So maybe someone can comment below, do they, when there is a fire of some kind, do they have like a water truck that goes with them? Um, I've seen the water trucks though watering the, um, you know, the dividers between yeah. the roads that have uh, grass and plants. Mm -hmm. I've seen those water trucks. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what they use. I don't know. And then the, the other interesting thing is that when we were looking at uh, homeowners insurance, um, we discovered that most people do not get fire insurance for their houses uh, for the reason that you know, structures seldom burn here because of how they're constructed. Well, wait a second. Okay, when you say fire insurance, homeowners insurance covers a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Homeowners insurance in the United States covers like accidental, you know, something mm -hmm. that happens to somebody, you're covered. If somebody gets hurt on your property, yeah. uh, fire insurance, um, you know, water leaks, um, you know, right. things like that. But most people Fences here... Fences falling down. Yeah. I think most people here just get the liability portion of that, the house insurance, and then maybe some insurance in case there's an issue with the gas tank. No, they really don't. I mean, I talked to somebody. Somebody gave me the name of somebody that is an insurance guy. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I would say the percentage is like 95% um, of homeowners have no insurance whatsoever on their homes. Right. You can get it, he said, for, um, he's supposed to send me some information, I don't have all of it yet, like for fire insurance, water damage, something like that. And like in the United States, he said it depends on the value of your home. Mm -hmm. So when I get that, I'll let you know more what's covered. But just to let you know, it's very, very rare in Mexico that people get fire insurance? That, no, homeowners, homeowners, insurance. homeowners insurance. If you're calling it fire insurance, yeah. Fellow Valley, it's homeowners insurance. <laughs> Aye, the things I put up with. <laughs> Another thing that you don't see in Mexico is... Numero dos. Yeah, number two. School buses. Parents usually take their kids to school in the car or they walk them to school. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, it like doesn't exist like in the United States. Yeah, and what, what I've kind of noticed here in Morelia, well, when we're in Morelia and here in San Luis Potosi, is there, there are a lot of schools around here. I think they're smaller schools and take smaller numbers of children. But yeah, they, parents just drive them to school, mm -hmm. drop them off in the morning and uh, come and pick them up uh, when their school days Or open. walk them. You see a lot of yeah. parents that walk their kids. Mm-hmm to school. Mm -hmm. um, that was number two. Mm -hmm. Number three would be uh, mailboxes. Yeah. You don't see mailboxes on the streets at all. Um, nor do you see post offices. I know that they exist. <laughs> yeah. They do exist. I just don't know where yeah. exactly. I know that they do have like a DHL and they have like FedEx, FedEx. Um, you know, right. stores like that. Right. So I don't know how that works for, you know, actually yeah. mailing stuff in a yeah, mailbox. Yeah, because even at, at houses, most people have a place where mail can be dropped off, but um, that's, 
just individual people dropping off mail, like the water company is an example, dropping off the water bills, the electric company dropping off the electric bills. No one actually takes anything You out don't of see like a mailbox, you know, like a mailbox yeah. truck, you know, yeah. that drives around. I have seen um, people on their bicycles that have like a basket or mm -hmm. something where they have like mail yeah. and they go delivering that. Uh, I mean, if you guys know something different wherever you live, leave comments below, mm -hmm. okay? Because I don't know, I've never seen any kind of like a mail truck delivery, uh, except for like I said, DHL, FedEx. There might be another one out there. I can't think of it right yeah. now. Um, okay, so that was number Two. three. Numero cuatro. Central heat and air conditioning. Uh, how is this? just don't have central heat and air conditioning. A lot of times if they do get air conditioning, they'll be the split unit systems they install. Um, split unit systems? What does that mean? It's They hang on the wall and then they have a vent up to the roof. Oh, I just know them as the ones on the wall. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> those white ones that are like those boxes. Yeah, that's the split system unit. But, um, you know, not all houses even have that. A lot of people just use fans for cooling. And, and the like fans mm -hmm. are the, the heaters during the winter time when yeah, it's cold. The floor, electric floor heaters. Or mm -hmm. a lot of times they have the gas heaters too that you can use inside the house. However, Paula and I were just a little nervous about that. So we don't have one of those. True. Numero cinco. Um, because there are no Taco Bells in Mexico, I've lost about 30 pounds by not going to Taco Bell every day while I was working. So, um, that's actually a good thing. But yeah, you, you don't find Taco Bells here. There are McDonald's, Burger King's, uh, Kentucky Fried Chickens, mm -hmm. uh, Domino's Pizza Domino's, we've seen here, Little Caesar's Pizza. Little but, Caesar's, mm -hmm. But uh, no Taco Bell, so if uh, that's high on your priority list, sorry. <laughs> and um, you said Cinco. Says number six would be U-Hauls. You don't find any U-Hauls and truck rental companies. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, they're, maybe they do exist. Uh, it's very, very rare, I think. Usually what you do is you know somebody who knows somebody mm -hmm. that has a truck and they'll give you a price on what they'll deliver you know for you um that's just something that you know again yeah. it's one of those things we take for granted in the u.s yeah. uh that you know you can rent a truck mm -hmm. uh, you can if you know somebody that knows somebody that has a truck you can do it that way and the good thing is this is mexico Mexicans are great, they're very resourceful, and they always know somebody who does something. Yeah. You know, whether it's if you need a mover or furniture maker, cabinet maker, whatever, they all, they all know people who mm -hmm. do that kind of things, if in fact they don't do it themselves. Yeah, what you do is you just put out some feelers to your friends and say, mm -hmm. hey, do you know somebody that you know, mm -hmm. can move me? Do you know somebody that does electrical? Do you know somebody that, mm -hmm. you know, everybody knows somebody that knows somebody that does it. Whatever you need, you'll find it. Yeah. But you won't the, find the U-Haul or actually the moving truck companies that exist yeah. in the U.S. that you won't find. Mm -hmm. Numero siete, if I can manage to hold up seven fingers correctly. Tow trucks. You know, you don't, you just don't see tow trucks here uh, in Mexico. I, uh, I can maybe you think of one time where I seen a tow truck and it was because of a big rig accident. So it was a big, big tow truck. But I don't think I've ever seen uh, a tow truck just to come and pick up a car broken down by the side of the road. Yeah, I, I haven't either. Um, yeah, I have not either. Although they do have, what is it called? The Green Angels? Green Angels, yeah, that operate mm -hmm. on the federal highways, mm -hmm. which is, by the way, a the free tolls. yeah, uh, the toll roads, mm -hmm. which is a free service. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, free service. So if you run out of gas, you have car problems, mm -hmm. they do help you. Yeah. But as far as like when we talk about tow trucks, you know, like you'll see them in the United States on the freeway or on the road or 
you know, whatever. We've yeah. never seen that yet. And we've, we've done some driving mm -hmm. in Mexico on the car, and we have not seen that yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ocho, number eight, uh, is... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Stop it. Senior moment. Stop. Stop it. We're not going to... That's going to be cut out. All right. Okay. Ocho, number eight is I keep forgetting. Oh, we're keeping at it for sure. Number eight is self-service gas stations. Mm -hmm. That I have not seen in Mexico at all. Except Costco. Costco, Costco yeah. Costco, we pumped our own gas, but every other gas station we've ever gone to, there's an attendant that comes and pumps the gas for you. Yeah, and you know what? If you get some really good ones, they'll clean your windows for you too. Yeah. You know, some of them won't. Right. Some of them will, mm -hmm. you know, and you usually tip them, you know, whatever you want to tip them, five pesos, yeah, 10 we, pesos. Yeah, we're usually 10 or 20 pesos. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's number eight. Numero nueve. American candy. You can't, you don't really find a lot of it here. They're, you, you, you know, you can find some. I've seen Milky Way M and M's, things like that. But what you know, some of the candies that we haven't been able to find are like the Red Hots, the Hot Tamales. That's me. Uh, another Hot Tamale. It's funny because I don't even like a hot food, but I yeah. like the, the Red Hots mm -hmm. and <laughs> and yeah. those. But I can't eat them like a whole handful. I gotta eat them one at a time because they are hot, but I like them. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't see like. Uh, what Almond Joys. Almond Joy, Mike, Mike and I, you don't see that. No, anymore. just a lot of American candy is, is hard to find here, mm -hmm. I think. And then, my memory today is shot. Okay. And diez would be people drinking tap water. It's very, very rare here in Mexico. And if they do drink it, they must have stomachs made of cast iron. <laughs> Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to drink the water in Mexico. Mexicans don't even drink the water in Mexico. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure that there are some places. I heard that in Huatuco. Huatuco, yeah. yeah. You know, you can drink uh, water in Huatuco, and I don't know if it's just certain areas mm -hmm. or not. Don't quote me on that. Leave a comment below. Um, so the water is no bueno. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. want to drink the water here in Mexico. Everything's bottled water. You go to the Oxos, you go to, yeah, you go to the yeah. Oxos and that's where you buy your bottled water. You can buy them in stores too. Mm -hmm. um, but we usually go to the Oxos and buy the five gallon. They're five gallons, right? They're liters, yeah. But, okay. Um, and I forget, like two and a half liters, something like that. Anyhow, so we just, we just buy them uh -huh. uh, there. Okay. Numero once. Thank you. <laughs> you, uh, as I have experienced, you will not find size 15 shoes here in Mexico. And uh, honest, honest to God, that's my real shoe size. Um, um, the thing is, you it's very rare to even find a size 10, 10 I think, in 11. Mexico. Yeah, it's 10, maybe you might find a 10. You're certainly not going to find an 11, 12, 13, yeah. 14, 15, 16. Even, then, yeah, even if people make shoes professionally, if you go in there and they just look and laugh. Because he did that once. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, that's one of those things that when we go back to the United States, yeah. he needs to load up on his shoes and mm -hmm. bring them back here because he will not find it at all. And even the, like you said, the shoemakers. Mm -hmm. are dumbfounded when he says what size can they make it yeah it's probably after i leave it's probably a story they tell all their friends <laughs> bigfoot came in here today yeah um so that's it today from the two travelers in mexico and you know as you know we're not traveling right now because there's a lot of things that are going on in the house and you know we need to stick nearby because Sometimes we'll get a phone call from our contractor to come on in or, you know, uh, yeah. they need to know something or like right now we've had uh, two people from blind companies come in uh, 
to give us some quotes on uh, house blinds and um, you know the tile well we already picked out our tile but you know just different things that are kind of going on that we need to be there for so but we will be doing some traveling you know we haven't stopped no we have not stopped we will continue to to do traveling once the whole house situation gets settled right right so from the two travelers in mexico <sighs> What she did. Bye guys. Fade to black. <laughs>